it's a welcome back for another video. If you're new here, my name's Ollie and I'm a London cabbie. You join me as we're heading into London for a Tuesday afternoon shift, driving a taxi around one of the best cities in the world. Stay tuned to see if we have a good day. Thank you. So as we're heading in, we have no luck until we get to Holborn Circus. We get an app request come through from Hatton Garden and we decide to take it. It's been over an hour since we left home, we need a bum in the seat as quick as we can. This one's only going to the Clark and Will Medical Centre, just on Pine Street, uh, just south of Rosebury Avenue. We get the customer on board in Hatton Garden, and we do the very first right onto Greville Street. We do the left Saffron Hill, a right onto Cross Street, and then a left onto Farringdon Road. And from Farringdon Road, to get to this part of Pine Street, you don't want to get a right onto Vine Yard Walk. You just want to get a right onto Bowling Green Lane, left Northampton Road, and just travel ahead where you can set down the Clarkwell Medical Centre. Now after dropping that one off, we start heading south, come back into the centre of London. When we get to Fetter Lane, we get a tap on the window, customer jumps in and just want to go to the Leonardo at St Paul's. We've dropped here before for the Sabine rooftop bar, it's the same building. So from Fetter Lane, we get a left onto a Fleet Street, go forward onto Ludgate Hill and then a forward onto St Paul's Churchyard. Now you see I slowed the video down here, just take a note of the TX4 parked up on the taxi rank on our left hand side. We're going to get back to that shortly. From St Paul's Churchyard we did a right onto Godleyman Street, set a customer down for the Leonardo Hotel. Now after dropping off we get ourselves back out onto St Paul's Churchyard. As I drive in the westbound we do see a group of customers walking up to this cab driver. I notice there's quite a few of them and as I do a quick count there's six of them walking to his cab. The TX4 has only got five, five passenger seats. We do a U-turn. They come walking over to us. We're into another job. Cabby does get out and give us a little uh, thumbs up and tell us how many people are there. But we already knew what the score was. Customers are in and they want to go to the Duke's Hotel, Mayfair. So from the taxi rank, we do a quick U-turn to start heading west along St Paul's Churchyard and then go forward onto Ludgate Hill. Continue heading away, we just come, travelling across the junction of Ludgate Circus, travelling west onto Fleet Street. As we pass Chantry Lane, we go forward onto Strand. From Strand, we'll continue following the Aldwych all the way around to get a right back onto Strand, heading towards Trafalgar Square. Now from here, uh, Admiralty Arch or the Mall is still closed heading west. That is a nice cut through. Normally you would use that, even though it's probably slightly shorter to use Coxburgh Street, it's always quicker to come through the Mall. But that has been closed for a few months now, so we are forced Coxburgh Street. Continue heading west and from Coxburgh Street and go forward onto Pall Mall. We go past a variety of clubs on our left hand side and we can apply Pall Mall Circus at the top, leaving by St James's Street. From St James's Street, we're going to left onto St James's Place, left into the little uh, slip road there or the little forecourt, set our customers down on the right for the Duke's Hotel. As we're setting our customers down, we do take a quick note of the big black horse in front of us, thinking that might make a great idea for a thumbnail. And as we set our customers down, we do a quick U turn, and as we're coming out, we get a wave on our left hand side. It's the doorman for the Stafford Hotel, just round the corner. We're into another job straight away. We go around, get the customers on board, and they want to go to the Savoy Hotel back the way we just came. So we leave St James's place by getting a right onto St James's Street. We'll apply Pall Mall Circus heading west along Pall Mall, go forward Pall Mall East and we'll right and left Trafalgar Square.
When we get to King Charles I Island, we have to travel north up Charing Cross Road to get a right onto Duncannon Street. From here, it's a left strand, right onto Savoy Court, and then set our customers down. As we're dropping off, we're into another job again. Dorman's there, got people waiting. There was no cabs on the rank, third job on the spin. So once they're in, they inform us they want to go to Ronnie Scott's Club on Thrift Street. And as we leave the Civil Week, you notice we are travelling on the uh, opposite side of the road. I believe this is one of the very few, if not the only roads in London, where you do drive on the right hand side. Let's get to Ronnie Scott's, we're just going to keep it super simple. We get left onto Strand, travelling west, the way we just come uh, <laughs> in our previous journey. And you see this in the customer before that as well. And when we get to Trafalgar Square or King Charles I Island, we're going to leave by travelling north up uh, St Martin's Place and then forward Charing Cross Road. We'll pass the global offices on our left hand side. And Leicester Square Station on our right hand side and continue travelling north up Charing Cross Road. When we get to the next big junction, it's Cambridge Circus, we're going to get the left there onto Shaftesbury Avenue. From Shaftesbury Avenue, we go past the Soho Fire Station. To get Ronnie Scott's, we want to get him right at the front door. We get him right onto Dean Street. From Dean Street, we'll keep going head all the way to the top, passing the Nelly Dean on our left hand side. And then we'll get him right onto Carlisle Place, passing the Pizza Express Jazz Club and the Toucan Bar. We'll comply Soho Square, leaving by Thrift Street. Then we'll set a customer down on a well, we're going to set a customer down on the right hand side, should I say, for Ronnie Scott's. But the queue is absolutely massive and they're going to open their door onto people. So that one worked out all right. Dropped at the Royal Leonardo as we come out and went past St Paul's. And I did notice there was a cab on the rank there. And uh, <laughs> I see six people walking up to him and he's in a TX4. So we jumped in behind him and they had full well as our job. So yeah, got that one straight down the Duke Street and then into another, into another. Happy days, hopefully we get another one in the, in the cab soon. Now after dropping off, we went for a little bit of a drive and we decided to stop on King Street, uh, St James's. There's a little rest taxi rank there and there's a pub opposite and you can use the facilities in that pub, no problem. When we come back to the cab on King Street, there's people waiting by the cab, they're looking for a ride. They jump on board and they want to go to the Chilton Firehouse restaurant up there on Chilton Street. So from King Street, we know we're going to head north straight away. We'll travel west along King Street, get a right onto St. James's Street. We'll go forward Albemarle Street, left Stafford Street, right Dover Street and then a left onto Hay Hill. We right Barclay Street, comply Barclay Square, leaving by Davis Street. We'll just continue heading north all the way along Davis Street and get the left onto Brook Street. Now from Brook Street, the quickest way to get to Chilton Firehouse is to use Manchester Square. So we get the right onto Duke Street, crossing the junction of Oxford Street to travel north and continue ahead onto Duke Street, passing the Selfridges side door on our left hand side. We'll comply Manchester Square lead by Manchester Street. Get the left onto Blandford Street and then a right onto Chilton Street and set a customer down on the left for the Chilton Firehouse restaurant. So after dropping Chilton Street, we find ourselves heading south along Baker Street. The cab in front is POB and as you can see, the customer on our left is trying to get in. We slow right down Traffic gives us a little toot behind, but as the customer turns around, their arm goes up, we're into another job. We let the bus get past, pull over, pick the customer up, and they want to go to Barrett Street. Barrett Street is just off of James Street, and it runs parallel uh, with Picton Place and Oxford Street. And from Baker Street, we want to cut over as quick as we can. So we get a left onto Fitzharding Street, right Seymour Place, left onto 
off to the where we skip the traffic lights there. From Wigmore Street is the right to Ames Street and then we set a customer down on the left hand side. Happy days, lovely, one in one out. We're gonna hopefully keep on going. About 10 past six now. Oxford Street is absolutely carnage. There's thousands of people here, so we have to shoot round. You may try Selfridge's side door, see if you have any luck, but yeah, hopefully get another one in a cab soon. We're flying so far. So after recording out of the uh, traffic lights on James Street, we went forward onto Gilbert Street. As we're driving south on Gilbert Street, your hand's gone up on Brook Street, right in front of us. We're into another job again. Customers are in and they want to go to Southgate Road. They're a bit confused, but they said there's a pub up there and they want to head there and they believe it uh, begins with a B. Turns out they're going to the De Beauvoir Arms. So with no one heading north east, we get a U-turn on Brook Street to start heading in the correct direction. Now we've got a few options of how we can get over to uh, Southgate Road. Euston Road is an option, I do consider it a first, but again, as I've said in a previous video, certain times of the afternoon and evening, even though there's a bus lane there, it can be absolutely carnage and you just you just don't want to get stuck in it. So we have a little wiggle around from Brook Street. We'll comply Hanover Square, leave by travelling north on Harewood Place. We'll go forward Holly Street and then we'll comply Cavendish Square. From Cavendish Square, we'll travel west and head forward onto Cavendish Place. Crossing the junction of Langham Place and Regent Street, we'll travel forward onto Mortimer Street. Now again, I've got a few options. I can get a right turn uh, Wells or Newman Street and then use Oxford Street. But at this time of the evening, Oxford Street, all the way along New Oxford Street, is going to be absolutely gridlock. We just want to keep the wheels turning as much as we can. Top of Good Street, we'll get a forced left onto Tottenham Court Road and then a forced right immediately onto Chenis Street. From Chenis Street, we want to skip a bit more traffic, so we do the right onto Ridgemount Street and then a left onto Store Street. From here, we can cross Galva Street onto Keppel Street and we've skipped at least one set of traffic lights and all the traffic heading south along Galva Street. From Keppel Street, it's a right Mallet Street, left Montague Place passing the rear of the British Museum, and then you're forced left onto Russell Square. We'll comply with Russell Square Pass and the Green Taxi Hut on our right and go forward onto Bernard Street where we'll pass Russell Square Station on our right hand side as well. From Bernard Street we'll go to the very top where we'll do the right onto Grenville Street and then a left onto Guildford Street. As we pass Corman Fields on our left, we'll continue heading west along Guildford Street and then we'll go forward onto Calthorpe Street. Now, there's a few left and rights here, but as you see, the traffic's relatively light and the wheels are continuously turning, with the odd occasion of a red traffic light in front of us. From Calthorpe Street, we did a right onto Farringdon Road. We've got a bus lane here, we we'll use that going past the Mount Pleasant Post Office on the right hand side, and then we'll get a left turn onto Rosebury Avenue. As we travel north up Rosebury Avenue, we'll do the right onto Tyso Street, forward Rosamond Street, and then forward onto Skinner Street. As we cross the junction of St John Street, we go forward there onto Percival Street. As we travel east along Percival Street, we'll cross over Goswell Road and go forward onto Lever Street. So from Lever Street, we know we just need to get out onto City Road now. We do the left onto Dingley Place, forward Dingley Road and then a right City Road. Here we'll take full advantage of the bus lanes to skip the traffic and continue heading the correct way. Now to get over to Southgate Road, knowledge students are probably wondering what I'm going to do. We quickly bang a U-turn so we can travel north up City Road to then get the right onto uh, Provost Street. Our customers are impressed with the U-turn and the turning circle and happy that we kept the wheels moving. From Provost Street, we just go forward Vestry Street, forward East Road and then forward New North Road. From 
here we do the right Bering Street, left onto South Gate Road. We set a customer stand on the left hand side to fill the back of our maps. That's another one done. Yeah, no complaints with that one. Knowledge students, would you have done the same? Would you have run the same line I've done? <laughs> I certainly wouldn't have called it in the seat. I would have just jumped on Euston Road and Essex Road, but yeah, half past six in the evening, you, you don't want to be using Essex Road traveling north. Unless you get a Newington Green or something like that, you, you don't want to go anywhere near it. So we were happy, no traffic at all, just traffic lights. And yeah, customers happy, happy with the U-turn at the end. They loved the little uh, turning circle we have, that always goes down well. Anyway, dropped them off now. Just got a ping from nearby Albion Square. We're just going to go over there and take it. Here we're at Kingsland Road. There's not much chance of a hand going up. You get down to Shoreditch, maybe. A zombie Triangle, as it's known. But yeah, we'll take that one. Got about four minutes, customer will be in, and just another bum in the seat, really. Gets us back over into the city. It says Albion Square going to the Bloomberg Arcade. Not all students, could you pull that one in the seat? If an examiner said Bloomberg Arcade. That's where we're going anyway. Well, hopefully if they don't cancel. But yeah, get them in a the seat, keep turning them over. Yeah, keep the wheels turning, keep us turning. From Albion Square, we leave by turning left onto Albion Drive and then a right onto Queensbridge Road. We travel the full length south on Queensbridge Road. When we get to the very bottom, we'll do the right turn onto Hackney Road. Initially the app had Bloomberg Arcade, but when the customer got to uh, Shoreditch High Street they said they wanted to go to the Dirty Martini Bar at St Paul's which is on Wood Street just off of Gresham Street. When we were on London Wall, the customer informs us they want to go back to the Bloomberg Arcade. It's not too much of a drama. From London Wall, we'll comply the road Sunday and leave by travelling south Aldersgate Street and then forward onto St Martin's Le Grand. From St Martin's Le Grand, we'll just go forward onto a new change and then left onto Cannon Street. We left onto Queen Victoria Street, set a customer down right hand side for Bloomberg Arcade. Another one done, absolutely no complaints. Customer was happy. Did at first consider going all the way down Bishopsgate, uh, Gracechurch Street, but there's roadworks down by Leadenhall Street, uh, temporary traffic light, so yeah, we swerved that. It was quick enough, customer's happy anyway. Just came past St Paul's now, hopefully get another one in the seat soon. Keep them turning over, hopefully have a good evening. So just after recording that last clip, we decided to have a quick look at Old Bailey. As we're traveling north, uh, a hand goes up, just north of Lime Burner Lane, we're into another job. Customer gets in and they want to go to St Paul Street, Islington. 
Now they do give us a preferred route and it's the route we were just going to go anyway. From Old Bailey we get a right turn on to Newgate Street. As we force left King Edward Street, forward Little Britain and forward Montague Street, we'll comply the Aldersgate Rotunda and this time we'll travel north, heading north up Aldersgate Street itself. As we pass Barbican Station on the left hand side we'll go forward onto Goswell Road and then continue travelling north for the entire length of Goswell Road. When we get to the junction of the Angel, we'll turn right there onto Islington High Street and then go forward onto Upper Streets. As we're travelling north up Upper Street, we'll do the right onto Islington Green, continue ahead on Essex Road. Go past the little Tesco Express on the right hand side, we'll take the very first right onto St Peter's Street yourself. From here the customer gives us directions for their address, which is the very first right onto Colebrook Road, then we'll turn left onto Gerrard Road and set a customer down. There we go, another one done, absolutely no complaints again. <laughs> Coming along St Paul's, I wonder how many cabbies that do the right and have a look at Old Bailey. Don't forget, there's a lot of offices there this time of night. You never know what's going to happen. My plan was just to go Old Bailey, come back down Ave Maria Lane and just do a little loop. If you have a bit of luck there, it's another little secret. I do uh, share them occasionally. Yeah, good little spot. So yeah, another one done. Bit the angel in two or three minutes and hopefully back into another job. Half past seven now, so getting to that quiet a time in the evening but um yeah hopefully get another one in a cab soon so it's not until we get all the way back to goswell road do we get another hand go up this one's quite a nice unique job the first drop is going to be farringdon station and then from farringdon station we're coming back up to goswell road to pick up another customer and then continue on with our journey so from goswell road we'll do the right onto clerkenwell road clerkenwell road we'll do the left onto turnmill street set a customer down there for farringdon station And to come back up on ourselves from Turnmill Street, we get a left onto Cowcross Street, left onto St John's Street. From here, we do the right Clerkenwell Road, and then the next junction, left onto Goswell Road, to pick up another customer to join the group that's already on board. And once customers on board, they tell us I want to go to an Indian restaurant on Elia Street. Elia Street is one of the little side streets just off a of city road. I believe Mr. Wilkins used to ask it on one of his points. So we'll travel north up Goswell Road, get a right onto Hall Street, right onto City Road, a left turn onto Remington Street, we'll get a left onto Nelson Place, right Nelson Terrace, and then left Elia Street to set our customers down on the right hand side. Another nice quick job, yeah, no complaints. The Tamil Crown. Well, first Farringdon Station, then onto the Tamil Crown. New to me. Um, can't remember what the pub was called before. I remember, <laughs> it might be Mr. Wilkins used to ask that pub on the knowledge. I can't remember though. Uh, but yeah, the Tamil Crown now. It's an Indian style restaurant. It was a pub. So there you go. New, uh, new point of interest for me. Anyway, we're going to get a false left now onto City Road and hopefully get another one in the cab soon. So as we travelled south on City Road, we had an app request for Micawber Street. Going over to Covent Garden, so we decided to take it. As we're leaving on Forsby Street, you see the silver Mercedes in front of us. Two guys jumped out of it and chased someone up the road. Welcome to London. Anyway, back to the run from City Road, we get a very first right turn onto Dingley Road. From Dingley Road, we get left Central Street, right Lever Street, and then we'll travel west along Percival Street. From Percival Street, we'll go forward onto Skinner Street, forward Rosamond Street, and then we'll bear left onto Tyso Street. From here, it's a left onto Rosebury Avenue. We'll 
across the junction of Farringdon Road and continue heading southwest and off Rosebury Avenue and the traffic lights will do the right turn onto Clark and Well Road. From Clark and Well Road it's a forward onto Theobald Road. From Theobald Road we use the bus lane there to skip the traffic lights and then we'll get a left turn onto Drake Street. Taking note of the brand new bus lane passing Red Line Square and Proctor Street, which we can use. Fortunately, we don't need to use it on this occasion. From Proctor Street, we get a right onto High Holborn. At Holborn Station, we do the left onto at Kingsway and a right onto Great Queen Street. From Great Queen Street, when we get to the Freemasons Hall, we turn left onto Wild Street, a right onto Kemble Street, and then a forward onto Russell Street. Set a customer down on the right hand side for Hotel Amano. Yeah, that's another one done, happy days. Um, yeah, literally as we left Coldbrook Road, got the left onto City Road, just got a buzz come off from uh, Micawber Street. We just took it, bum in the seat as quick as we can. Uh, yeah, maybe the customer could have come out to City Road and put their hand up, it is what it is. But yeah, we got bum in the seat, got them down in Covent Garden. Let's have a quick drive around there, see if we have any luck. It's approaching uh, half past eight, so I don't really know how many people are gonna be on the streets now. My, uh, that time of night where everyone's where they need to be but yeah we'll see hopefully we uh we get another one in the cab soon and keep them turning over so after dropping off in covent garden we had no luck at all it's not until we get on to holborn itself junction of grazing road do we get another customer on board they want to go up to maidavale and more importantly lauderdale road so from holborn we get a right onto grazing road from grazing road we do the left onto northington street right john street and then a forward onto doughty street from here we'll get the left onto Guildford Street. Now we could have gone the full length of Grazing Road all the way to the top, but lately we found this has been moving much better than sitting at the top of Grazing Road, trying to get out onto uh, Euston Road. From Guildford Street is a right and left Russell Square and then a right onto Bedford Way. Bedford Way we'll go forward Tavistock Square and then forward onto Ensley Streets. From Ensley Street we go left Ensley Gardens, right Gordon Street and then we get the left onto Euston Road. Now since the Euston taxi rank has changed we found this has moved much smoother and much quicker than uh, it used to in the past. From Euston Road we'll get a left there travel west along Euston Road using the Euston underpass and then continue heading west along Euston Road itself. We'll pass Great Portland Street Station on the left hand side and then go forward onto Marlebone Road. Now for Lauderdale Road you've got a few options, you can try and get Edgware Road and come back on yourself or you can use Harrow Road, uh, Harrow Road roundabout Warwick Avenue. That tends to move much faster than getting onto Edgware Road itself. As always on Marlebone Road, we do take full advantage of the bus lane to skip any traffic that may be there. As we cross the junction of Seymour Place, we get back into lane two to use the Marlebone flyover. As we come off for Harrow Road, make sure we are not exceeding the 20 mile an hour speed limit. The TFL's uh, tax collectors are standing there regularly with their speed camera, waiting to catch you doing 22 mile an hour at all times of day and night. Back to the run from Harrow Road Roundabout, we'll leave by travelling north up Warwick Avenue. Warwick Avenue, we go forward onto Delaware Road, passing a very famous point on the knowledge on the left hand side. Any knowledge students out there, what's the point on the left hand side we just passed on Delaware Road? From Delaware Road, we get a right onto Elgin Avenue, right onto Lauderdale Road, and then set a customer down there. And as we're not too far from Paddington, we think we're going to have a quick look there at the rank, see if it's moving before trying our luck elsewhere. Yeah, I had a quick look at Padden and the cab's queuing all the way up the ramp. Not worth, not worth sitting there for 20 minutes. Just come down Eastbourne Terrace, orange lights everywhere, and an app's pinged off from Westbourne Terrace. So we took that, just gonna drive there now, just a minute away, just get another bum in the seat. Um, it's going over to Marlebone, uh, Homer Street. Looking at the queue at Paddington, by the time we've got them in, dropped them off and got paid, <laughs> we still wouldn't have a customer at Paddington. So, yeah, you don't want to lose commission, but at the same time, you're here to earn money. So we'll make as much money as quick as we can. You do that by having a bum in the seat. So anyway, hopefully this customer don't cancel. One or two minutes time, we're back into another job. 
So we go to the Roseate Hotel on Westbourne Terrace. It's quite a good hotel, this one. There's always a taxi job there. It's always worth noting. It's one of those hotels we didn't really learn on the knowledge, but I've dropped off and picked up there on multiple occasions. We get a customer on board, and we, like I said, we're just going over to Marlebone. So we have to travel up the little slip road there, then we get the left and cover south on Westbourne Terrace. We we'll left Sussex Gardens, let's cross over Edgware Road, go forward onto Old Marlebone Road. From Old Marlebone Road, we get a right onto Homer Row, left onto Crawford Street, and then we set a customer down on the junction of Crawford Street and Homer Street. As we drop off on Crawford Street, we roll forward to the junction of Seymour Place. A customer comes up from behind, taps on the window, they want to go up to the American School. Now the American School is quite a big point on the knowledge, it's a junction of Waverley Place and Finchley Place, but I believe there's an entrance on Marlborough Place which is the north side of it. That's the entrance the customer wants. So from Crawford Street we got a left onto Seymour Place and then we went forward Lisson Grove. From Lisson Grove we go forward on to Grove End Road and now here normally you do the right Grove End Road just before Abbey Road itself and then left Waverley Place and set a customer down there. But instead from Grove End Road we'll pass the famous Abbey Road to Zebra Cross and we travel north up Abbey Road. We get a right onto Marlborough Place and as we pull up on the left hand side we set a customer down there just before Marlborough Hill. Yeah lovely, no complaints there, or well, not from me anyway. Um, just dropped off, so when you drop off, really if another cab comes you should pass the job over. As I was dropping off the cabs drove past me, he's now in front of me, so anyone that comes is his job. Customers come from behind. now. <laughs> Depends how you want to look at it. If the driver has to put their cab in reverse to pick up a customer, it's not their job. So, unfortunately, um, for him, it's or her, it's their loss. We've got a job. It's another one done. Now, it's two in and out. We uh, done the quick app job straight into a second job. Now, it makes you wonder would I still be waiting at Paddington? A lot of cabs there. I could still be empty, but there you go. Uh, we're just going down Abbey Road now, just going past Abbey Road Studios on our right. There's well, a couple of people floating about in the zebra crossing now, obviously they just want to have their photo taken, but some, more often than not they want a cab afterwards, so we might get a job. If not, we'll carry on heading south, get back into the centre, 20 to 10 now, so hopefully we'll be into another job soon. Get another bum in the seat and uh, keep the wheels turning, keep us earning. So it's not until we get all the way back to the Selfridges Food Hall on Orchard Street that we get into another job. This one's a nice straightforward job, they just want Victoria Station. Now it's just gone 9 o'clock at night, and every night this particular week there's been roadworks on Higher Park Corner. You're going to see what happens when we get there. From Orchard Street we go forward North Audley Street. You see the roads closed in front of us, but it doesn't really affect us. We get a right on to Green Street. Top of Green Street we get left onto Park Lane. As we're travelling south on Park Lane, traffic is absolutely horrendous in front of us. We decide to peel off and try our luck a little bit elsewhere. So we get the left onto Mount Street, right onto Balfour Place, and then left onto Aldford Street. As you see, we skip a bit of the traffic in front of us. From here, we get a right onto South Audley Street. Now, I do consider from South Audley Street getting Curzon Street, trying to get out onto Piccadilly and come back on ourselves. Unfortunately, if you go that way and something goes wrong, you just go in the wrong direction continuously, and customers will think you're having them over. So from South Audley Street, we get a right onto Curzon Street, and we get left onto Park Lane. As you can see, traffic's absolutely solid here, and at the bottom, everyone's forced into the bus lane. The bus lane does help us though, and we do skip plenty of the traffic, and eventually get ourselves out to Hyde Park Corner. As we're sitting in traffic here, I do discuss with passengers the final drop off of their destination. Nine times out of ten, maybe more, when you drop in Victoria Station from this direction, you drop at a Shakespeare's pub. It's not directly Victoria train station, but all they've got to do is cross the bus station and they're there. So once we're out of the traffic, we use Duke of Wenton Place and then left onto Grosvenor Place.
from here it's a false left onto Lower Grove in a place, right Buckingham Palace Road. And as you see, we'll pull up just behind a black cab on the left hand side for the Shakespeare's pub. Customers can cross the road for Victoria Station. Happy days, another one done. Um, yeah, traffic park lane, as you see, was absolutely horrendous. Um, we've banged an app on, hopefully we can have a bit of luck. Uh, I park corner's shut, so we can't get over to Piccadilly. Um, I'm just looking for something east, really. Anything heading east, and oh, we're gonna go on. It seems to be a big event on it, the peninsula, literally just around the corner from where I am now. So, gonna head there. I'll let leave my light on for now. So, uh, anything east, I'll be going home. <laughs> it's probably going to be west. It happens to me a lot. Every time I say I'm going to get an east, I end up in Putney or worse. But let's see what happens. So as you may have just heard, I ignored the app requests that were coming through. None of them were going the way we wanted to go. We decided to serve the uh, peninsula instead. As you see the guy in the green doing break dancing, trying to haul all the cabs into the uh, pickup area. We get ourselves a U-turn and we get back into another job. I do slow the footage down here just to show the sheer amount of people waiting for taxis and show the uh, system they got in place for when there's big events on. As we get to the front here, customer jumps on board and they want to go to Chichley Street down there by the London Eye. We were more than happy with that, it's taken us right away from the roadworks just north of where we was. From the Peninsula Hotel on Grove and the Crescent, we will comply Belgrave Square Leaf but Upper Belgrave Street. At the time of recording this, Hobart Place is still closed heading west. So from Upper Belgrave Street, we'll go forward Eaton Square, forward Lower Belgrave Street. From here, we'll left Buckingham Palace Road, left Grove and the Gardens, and then get a right onto Lower Grove and the Place. From Lower Grove and the Place, we'll go forward Bressenden Place and then left onto Victoria Street. From Victoria Street, we're just going to continue heading northeast, forward Broad Sanctuary, all the way up to Parliament Square. From Parliament Square, we'll pass Big Ben and go forward onto Bridge Street and then forward onto Westminster Bridge. As we're coming over Westminster Bridge, we get to the next set of traffic lights. We take the left, it's a, like a taxi slip road. It takes you around the north side of the Park Plaza, Westminster, that lets you get the left turn onto York Road. From York Road, we get the left onto Chichley Street and a set of customer there. That's another one done. Yeah, happy days. No complaints there. Um, just dropped off on Chichley Street. It's that time of the night. <laughs> Everyone wants a cab, so there's hands everywhere. I'm just looking at going home now. I'm shattered. So I'm going to uh, head to a part of London where I always try and get a going home job. There's uh, one or two parts I know. Uh, as I said in previous videos, I can't share that on here, unfortunately. Um, otherwise, every taxi driver that watches the video will probably end up there and I'll be in Putney rather than heading east. So, unless I get a job that's worth sharing, uh, this will be the last bit of the video. If you have got this far, I just wanna say thank you very much for uh, watching. Uh, your support is really appreciated. If you have liked this content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you, if you haven't already, and you would like to see more of this uh, type of videos. Again, thanks for watching. Until next time, be lucky.